Hello Taurus and welcome to your November 2021 tarot forecasts and messages. We have your full moon eclipse happening on the 19th of November Taurus. So this is going to be a powerful time for you guys, a powerful month. All right, so let's get right in and see what spirit has to say for you guys. Show us Taurus. Right, last quarter moon and Scorpio reveal what needs to be seen. Okay, so last quarter moons are always about like the, the final stretch, the completion, because after the last quarter we move, um, we keep uh, waning down and then we go into the new moon. So Taurus, you are coming to an end of a cycle in some area of your life. It's definitely attached to your emotions with the Scorpio energy and reveal what needs to be seen. There is some sort of truth that is going to be revealed or illuminated, exposed to you in the month of November. All right, so let's pull some more cards and see what else is happening for you guys or if uh, Spirit is going to go further in. We're going to pull some tarot cards to see what this truth is about, but let's see what else is going on for Taurus. Ooh, look at that. A blessing on your wisdom is coming through. And that's all about this truth being revealed to you in some capacity, Taurus. And now um, this truth that's going to be revealed to you guys is different for each of you, obviously, as this is a general read. But you kind of have some intuition already about this. And once this comes out... It's going to expand you in a way where you're more in tune with yourself. You trust yourself more because you already sensed the vibes, whether this is about somebody in your life or somebody um, that you are observing from afar. It's just some area of your life, Taurus, there is something that's been hidden. It's time for it to be revealed. And you already kind of feel it within. So let's pull out another card. So what can I burn? Burn it, burn it all. The ugly lies, the pain, the shame, the criticism, the images that run through your head, the reminders of what you did wrong and the proof that you are not enough. Burn, baby, burn. Your soul is calling. It's time for a rebirth. You are like the phoenix rising from the ashes, no longer attached to the past. You are free. Your wings are ready. Use them. Make the choice that you will no longer let the past define you. Pick up your pen. What will your next chapter look like? Wow, that is deep. Okay, so Scorpio, eighth house energy is attached to Phoenix rising from the ashes. All right, and you legitimately have this. You are like the Phoenix rising from the ashes, no longer attached to the past. So what can I burn? Taurus, this truth I feel is a negative truth. Okay, you guys all know that I love to bring beautiful messages, always, 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 but this is so just out there and obvious where there is a truth around somebody or some situation in your life. You already have an intuition about it. It's about to be revealed. And through that revelation coming to you, that is your cue to cut that tie, to burn that bridge, Taurus, because this energy needs to leave your life. And through that process of that bridge burning, it allows you to rise. Okay, so the truth that is going to be revealed here is not 
it's something pleasant or lovely. It's not like a, a beautiful surprise confession or something like that, okay? It's something um, that I feel you need to know. And it's like what's going to allow you to fully walk away from somebody or something. Because here you are, the last quarter moon energy. So that goes back to how you're already having thoughts feelings, intuition about this person or situation. And now in November, with that Taurus full moon, it's going to be fully revealed to you. And that gives you whatever it is you need to sever ties, to walk away. And it's for your highest good, Taurus. So let's pull some tarot and look at this deeper. Oh, yeah, because look at that. First card out is the Tower. Temperance. But see, even through this ugly truth being revealed, this is like a breakthrough for you. It, it allows balance to be restored within you because this could be, Taurus, where somebody's been totally gaslighting you. Like you keep calling it out and they're like, no, and you don't have any real tangible evidence to state your case. And they're making you think that you're crazy. Um, that you're wrong, you're overreacting, you're too sensitive, you're emotional, all these things. So once this truth comes out, that is healing for you because you're like, you know what? I knew I wasn't crazy. I knew it. Yeah, look at the sun. Total revelations. Mm -hmm. And it's not a pretty truth, unfortunately. But it sets you free, Taurus. It, it truly does. So... Um, it is shocking, okay, and, um, you know, the sun and the moon involved in the eclipses, this is total illumination. You are no longer going to be left in the dark. It's like a full exposure. This could be in your workplace, okay, um, this could be about somebody in your family, this could be one of your friends, this could be about, you know, your romantic relationship. It's different for all of you. But where, Taurus, are you? have you been questioning? Have you been feeling like things are just not right? Something is off. Something is hidden from you. Where is that? Because you have been... <laughs> my dogs are barking at something up there. Don't know what it is. If you heard that. But I feel like that was a confirmation. Like, yeah, I don't know what they're barking at down here. But they're barking at something. That's your intuition. You've been feeling something. You've been trying to call it out, but you just haven't had the evidence or been able to put the full picture together. And in November, this eclipse somehow, some way is going to bring that revelation forth. It's a shocker, but it brings you balance and you see the ugly truth about somebody or something. And they may try, if this is like somebody you know, they may try to like kiss your ass and like, oh my gosh, da 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 But Taurus, you're over it. What can I burn? I'm done with your nonsense. I'm out of here. I'm finished. And you're just going to walk away. It's like the, the final nail in the coffin. The straw that breaks the camel's back. Okay? That's what this truth is about. So this isn't just like you are totally in the dark happy-go-lucky, going about your business, and then boom, this ugly truth comes and just knocks you on your ass. It's not like that. You've already been having a sense about it, and if you've tried to call it out, somebody is like, no, you're wrong, you are crazy, this, that, and the other, all right? And you've really been questioning yourself, going deep within yourself. Scorpio energy is very intense, okay? And now you're about to be freed from that, because the truth is revealed and you finally know like I'm not crazy and through that it allows you to trust yourself more to where you say you know what I may not know what is happening what is going on but when I get this feeling I am never ignoring it again I know something is up when this overcomes me 
I might not know the details, but I know something's up. And when that happens, don't get all caught up in your head trying to analyze what is it. Accept and receive that feeling and just flow with it. And the truth will reveal itself to you always, always, Taurus. But in November, you have help with this eclipse. Just, it's like, boom, bombshell, here it is. And that's what you need. And you're able to cut ties and walk away. So let's pull some more cards. You know, and um, this could be about a Sagittarius. A Leo, a Capricorn, okay? We do have a Knight of Cups. This feels like a, a much lighter um, energy. So maybe a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. But the strongest is definitely with a uh, Sagittarius, a Leo, or a Capricorn. Look at that. You have four major arcanas, Taurus. Yeah, this is big deal. This is kind of like life shifting, changing. And I feel it's to really get some negative energy out of your life. And um, it could also be like where somebody recently is like trying to come in and kiss your butt and say all these things. And then you're just going to find out like, yeah, you're so full of crap. Ghostlands, Talisman, Stuck in the Mud, One Ring Circus. Okay. Ghostlands, yep, that's the confirmation of that energy of you not being able to validate or confirm what you are feeling intuitively. Oh my gosh, the dogs, they're being so bad during your reading. I'm so sorry. They're just, the smile, the, like the slightest noise sets them off up there. Um, but yeah, it's just, you don't know. You feel it, but you don't know. And here's the thing, Taurus, your spirit guides have really been trying to give you signs and synchronicities to protect you. But you've just felt very stuck. I don't know what to do. And even if what you are intuitive, intuitively sensing is the truth, it's like, well, what do I do about it? You know, um, some of you, it's like you may feel uh, this person has like some power or authority over you or something or, um, you know, calling them out on their BS is going to kind of put you in a bind and spirits saying, don't worry about that, Taurus. You are protected and you're going to have all you need. What's revealed to you is being revealed to you for your highest good so that you can move on from this devil energy, whether it's at your job, it's a relationship in your life or a situation in your life. It's time for that to dissipate. You deserve better than that. It keeps you very stuck, very hindered, very confused, splintered energy. And when your energy and thoughts are splintered, it's hard to navigate just your normal everyday life, you know, and um, when somebody's gaslighting you really bad and has you all balled up mentally, it makes you paranoid and questioning everyone and everything around you. And so your spirit guides have been trying to give signs of synchronicities to confirm your intuitive feelings and promptings. And it's going to be revealed and it's going to be like, whoa, with the tower, but that's what needs to happen so that you can burn that bridge, Taurus, and go on your merry way because you will have all you need and you are being protected by your spirit guides, by the angels. All right, so let's pull one final message. And this could even be where somebody's really been trying to like turn you against another person and tell you all these horrible things about them and you're going to come to find out that the person running their mouth to you about this other person is full of crap and is wrong 
All right. I mean, there's just so many different scenarios I see playing out here. All right. Okay. So you guys get to tilt your gaze skyward. Drop all worry about how to create a dreamier life. Tilt your gaze skyward and attune yourself to the wavelength of your oneness with God, Goddess, Creator, Dreamweaver Supreme. Become aware of how your spiritual magnetism attracts the most wonderful people, opportunities, and circumstances. Yeah, whatever this truth is, Spirit's saying, don't let it get you down. It's actually freeing you and liberating you for better things to come. Big red bow. Imagine everything you look at as a gift wrapped in a gigantic red bow. Your car, your cat, your washing machine, your bills, even your family members. Gaze upon the tangible and intangible aspects of your life and behold how blessed and lucky you are. All right, so this is like through this truth, revelation, whatever it is, Spirit says don't look at it as bad, as negative, as ugly. Look at it as a gift because it is truly truly setting you free Taurus it is you are better off in the long run you are being protected that's why this is being revealed to you and you're only going to be better off for it so those are your messages I am sending you lots of love and light take care